Hello Internet. So, what can the Albert Einstein of modern business teach us about everyday living? And, by the way, I've been, re I've been reading in this book off and on recently, uh, just like randomly skipping through. And at first glance, you might think, oh, well, this is about business. It has nothing to do with, like, everyday life, like running a household or anything like that. I say it's all business. In fact, I uh, technically did a video on that some number of years ago. Uh, I say technically because it was a mine it's a Minecraft video where I'm just, like, randomly rambling on about thoughts that I'm having in my head as I'm playing. I did that back then. I kind of got bored doing it. But I made the assertion that everything you do is business. And here's my reasoning. You know, everybody thinks uh, business is about selling a product and making money. No. Making money is just, a, well, profit is just a requirement of a business. The purpose of business is to solve a problem that other people have. And in exchange for that, they have some type of monetization, you exchange, trade sort of thing, usually local currency. Because, you know, it's, it's a versatility thing. You know, back in ye olden days, you know, uh, I could sell, like, sacks of grain in exchange for whatever I happen to need and whatever the other person happens to have. Because, you, you know, way back then, money... I mean... If you think about it, salt, spices, food, were a little more versatile back then than money. Today is kind of the other way around, because I mean, you, you can pretty much take money anywhere and get food. But I'm kind of getting off, the, I'm, I'm going off on a tangent now. <laughs> the purpose of this video is, what can this guy teach you about how, and you, like everyday life? Again, purpose of business to solve a problem. And in everyday life, there are problems. Going back to the food example, you know, a lot of people have the problem of, uh, I'm hungry, I want to eat now, and I don't care if it tastes good or if it's good for me. Fast food solves that problem. However, you can solve that problem yourself by going to the grocery store, spending money, and then cooking the food yourself. Ideally, that's what you do. Other people go to the grocery store, spend money, and come home with uh, prefabricated foods that they just pop in the microwave or, or like steam for a few minutes, hours, or whatever, and it's full of all kinds of artificial nonsense. And I've already done a video on that, on how you know, limit the artificial crap you put inside your body. Again, tangent. <laughs> anyway, there are multiple ways of solving the problem of, I'm hungry. And unfortunately, in the modern world, solving that problem usually winds up spending, ends up spending money. So now we have the problem of, I need money to do my stuff. And you, know, the typical solution to that is go out and work. Which involves uh, trading your time and expertise, usually just your time and uh, some kind of labor to get money. Basically, you trade your time and go on someone else's time and they give you money, which you can then... We know how that works. But that's a solution to a problem. Now, people like me have the problem that while I can do that, I don't enjoy that. And that's where we get to the chapter on innovation. Which is a, a very mind-opening... I, I won't go into the details about that, but it's, it's all about how you structure the innovation. Because you, you still have to work... You still have to worry about you know, the day-to-day -day stuff that has to go on. But you still need to innovate. If you want to know more about that, read the book. There's an entire chapter on that. I think it's a chapter. It's, it's, it, it's a thing that I read, and it was organized in, in, in sections. Anyway. <laughs> By the way, there will be an affiliate link down in the description through Amazon uh, if you want to buy the book which I would recommend because again life is business 
In fact, uh, uh, there was another chapter in here about how how people think management is all about business, but, th- but the thing is, management it, it's, it's 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 its own thing. And I would assert that everything is business. Therefore, any kind of management is business. Man- anyway, nitpicking. Anyway, affiliate link down in the description if you want to buy it through Amazon. Anyway. I have no idea what was on my hands when I did that, but it was icky. Again, being out in nature. It's not coming off my hands. Okay, that solves the problem. (laughs) I made a business decision. Anyway. I will see you next week with some other random thought.